Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 2717, the Herschel Woody Williams National Medal of Honor Monument Location Act. And I thank the chairman and the ranking member for their leadership in, in prioritizing this important piece of legislation. Woody Williams was born on a West Virginia dairy farm in 1923 and was first drawn to the Marine Corps by their trademark uniforms. At five foot six, Williams was made unable to enlist in the Marines due to height restrictions. After that regulation was changed in 1943, Woody enlisted and was in the Pacific Theater in less than 90 days. On February 21st, 1945, then Corporal Williams landed on the beach at Iwo Jima, where he distinguished himself by repeatedly risking the threat of enemy fire and bayonet charges over several hours, while single-handedly destroying enemy pillboxes or concrete trenches to make way for American tanks and infantry. His gallant actions took place on the same day as the famous flag raising on Mount Suribachi, which he witnessed from about a thousand, a thousand yards away. After returning home, President Harry Truman awarded Corporal Hershey, Herschel Williams the Medal of Honor, our nation's highest recognition for valor in combat. He recognized his aggressive fighting spirit and valiant devotion to duty through this fiercely contested action, sustaining and enhancing the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Following his distinguished Marine career, Williams continued to serve others in many capacities. And some of my colleagues may remember last summer when Herschel Williams lay in state at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda as the last World War II Medal of Honor recipient to pass away. Since its inception by President Lincoln in 1862, 3,517 brave soldiers have received the nation's highest honor for going above and beyond the call of duty and risking life and limb in selfless service to their countrymen. This elite class represents less than 0.001% of the 40 million brave sons and daughters who have served in the armed forces since the American Civil War. While a permanent memorial for Medal of Honor recipients has been discussed for years, it was not until 2021 when President Biden signed a bill that Congressman V.C., my colleague, and I introduced to authorize the creation of a new monument to honor those who have been awarded the Medal of Honor. Today, we continue this work to authorize the creation of this monument in the reserve, also known as the Great Cross Axis of the National Mall. The monument will stand as a testament to those who protect our nation's values, such as the nearly half dozen from my home state of Utah. We envision it as an educational platform for future generations to learn about what has been required to maintain our republic. And by citing this monument near the Lincoln Memorial, we can pay the fitting tribute to the president who established the award and embodies its principles. Our work to form a more perfect union is unending, and I find it fitting that a monument and a monument honoring our nation's greatest heroes will be visible from the memorial honoring one of our greatest martyrs. Today, our nation finds itself sharply divided along partisan lines. This monument will remind our great nation that it's, pe that it's people, that, that there, are, there are far more that unites us than divides us. It is my hope that constructing this monument in its rightful place will inspire all Americans and allow us to pay our respects to learn from these individuals and these families who, in Lincoln's words, have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 2717, and I yield back.